Hello, everybody. I'm doing a demo on how to bevel and polish a copper or zinc plate, which can be used in any intaglio printmaking process. You can use a copper plate or a zinc plate. In general, copper is much better than zinc. It holds up a lot better. It lasts longer. It does cost more than zinc, but in my opinion, all of the advantages really make it worth the cost. The plates come as these raw pieces of copper, and you need to bevel the edge of the copper plate, because if you don't, when you pull your print through the press, the edge of the plate can actually cut the paper. You want a nice, smooth bevel that is gonna prevent that from happening. To bevel the plate, you have to hold it into place using C-clamps. The thing is though, you don't wanna just put the C-clamp right on top of the plate because that's actually gonna make a mark into your plate, which is no good. What you can do is just get these little pieces of mat board and I put them on top of the plate so that way my C-clamp doesn't actually make physical contact with the copper plate. The other thing is you don't wanna have your copper plate really close to the edge of the table because you won't have space to actually move your file. Maybe bring it out about an inch and a half. Take the C-clamp, make it real tight. Beveling is serious business. <laughs> this is like, you're going to war. If you're beveling and all of a sudden your plate moves, it stinks. Let me just check with my file to make sure this is far out enough. I have to pull my plate a little further out. I could tell because when I was holding my file at the angle, my file was touching the C-clamp and you don't want that to happen. That's a lot better because now when I'm holding the file, I'm not actually touching the C-clamp here. What's tricky about beveling the plate, it's really the angle of the file is so hard for people to get. I'm gonna make it look really easy. I've beveled millions of plates in my life. Well, maybe not millions, but a lot. Typically what happens, people either put it too perpendicular to the copper plate, in which case you're not really getting the bevel, but if you make it too flat, then the bevel isn't dramatic enough. And so it takes a little while, you have to do it a couple times before you figure out exactly what angle is best. You don't actually want the file, the flat side, to be flat up against the plate. I put the file flat like this. Right now, the back of this file, it's flat, flush up against the edge of the copper plate, tip it up like this. It's really just this one edge of the file that you need in the beginning. If this is flat against the side of the copper plate, I just tip it up. And now I have about the angle and the contact point between the file and the copper plate. Start like this. Start up here and then you slowly go down. Start high, go down. The top of my file, it begins up here, but by the time I've gotten to the end, it's already down here. So it's that type of motion. You have to be aggressive with this. And it's tricky because sometimes your file will go in some places, not in others. And so sometimes you'll see, oh, this didn't take off as much. So I have to be a little more aggressive here. You want to make sure that your file, it goes straight through. You don't want to do this. You don't want to just bevel a piece of it or start in the middle and do the rest because you're trying to get this bevel as even as possible. And you can end up with parts of the bevel, if they're uneven, it can actually catch ink, <laughs> which is not good. Sometimes I'll have a spot that's a little stubborn. I can see that this corner is not doing so well. And so in that case, because I know that particular corner needs a little TLC, I'm gonna give it a little more attention. Probably have a sturdier table. <laughs> this table is not good for this. Try to have a table that's not gonna wiggle every time you hit the file. You'll see a lot of files have a more coarse side. You wanna start with the coarser side and then you can flip it to the other side once you're almost finished with the beveling. You will see speckles of copper that are coming off the plate. That means you're doing it right. If you don't have that, that means you're not being aggressive enough. You will find there's gonna be a lot of hairs down here at the bottom. So you may need to hold your file like this, just so you can get rid of those hairs that are down there at the bottom. You're trying to get the width of the bevel to be exactly the same. I can see that over here on this side, 
the bevel is not quite as wide as it is down here. So I'm gonna shave a little bit here. Pretty smooth. It does have a couple of marks. The way to totally get rid of that is to use this tool called a burnisher and you just do this. Going back and forth. And you'll see if you feel it after you've used the burnisher, it's so soft. All right, so I'm done with this side. I'm gonna flip it and then you start again. Do the same thing on all four sides. Some people like to take the time to actually round the corner. Take your file and just round that edge. I don't usually do this. I guess some people like it. When you're beveling, you might see that there'll be these little bits of copper that get stuck in your file. Take a wire brush and you'll be able to get rid of it. This is what a raw piece of copper looks like. It hasn't been polished. The plate looks really different after you polish it. In print shops, they use putz pomade. If you can't find that, a lot of hardware stores have metal polish. You want a metal polish that's more pasty and also has a little bit of coarseness to it. Take a cotton rag, rub the metal polish into your plate. It's a little bit liquidy. It will work, but it's not gonna be as efficient when polishing the plate. That one works okay, but I can definitely feel that this one is way faster. Rub the putz pomade all over the entire plate. You don't need that much. Now you wanna to switch to a clean part of the rag. Get rid of that first layer. Now you really wanna go for it. You'll notice this is the part that I've buffed a lot. This is the part that still has putz pomade on it. You can see that's a pretty major difference. Put some muscle into this. What is this crap? This is what happens when you don't take good care of your plates. I'm gonna scratch it off with my finger. Make sure you're really going over the edge of the plate. That way you polish all the edges and corners. Now that it's polished, I can actually see there's a few scratches in here. It's not a big deal and I can get rid of them later if I need to.